Hey there. I was talking to my friends at Bastion who had sent me one of their bolt action um, bolt points recently. And yes, this is going to be another bolt point review. I like that pen. I like it a lot. It's a very comfortable bolt point and you've got to be honest with yourself. Sometimes you just need a bolt point. It's that simple. Now, they asked me if I wanted anything else. I said, yeah, you also make this in a slim. Can you send me that? So I have one, the full size. I'll show you that as I do the review. And then I have this now, the slim. I prefer the full size, but for some people it's a bit too girthy. Then you can have the slim. So a very kind thank you to Bastian for sending me this. I am going to cover the parts of this pen. It's not a fountain pen. There isn't as much to say to me as there would be with a fountain pen, but it's still a very neat pen. We'll do a writing sample. I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, the Bolt Action Slim from Bastion Pens. And by the way, the picture on the box is almost life size to the pen, which I thought was kind of neat. Um, box, simple, cardboard. Nice description, right? Simple. Sleeve comes off, and you have the actual box marked Bastion in nice shiny chrome colored letters. Very simple. Pen fits in there, no frills. I love it. Take out that. You can recycle it. Little pen sort of sleeve type thing. Um, all going. And then you have the pen. Now, I told you I was going to show it to you next to the other one. So this would be the full size. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of difference in girth. Not in length, but in girth. It's, it's, it's quite a difference. To me, this is a lot more pleasant, but that's very personal. Here we have the slim that I was very interested in trying out. So it is a ballpoint. Um, if you really want to see this for the fountain pen lovers, right next to a Pilot Metropolitan to give you an idea, it's about that size, just a little slimmer. These come in different finishes, uh, different colors. It's a T6 grade aluminum, or if you prefer, aluminum. It's 99 US and there are different colors available. This one has a, it looks to me like a Parker style refill, but this is not, I'm not super familiar with all those refills. So if I'm wrong, just point it out in the comments. I will not be upset or anything. Um, it's good to know. What else can we say about this? Well, let's look at the parts. And there isn't, there isn't an enormous amount of stuff to describe here, but I'm, I'm going to try anyway. We have the Bastion logo up there on top, nicely rounded off. We have that bolt action, and I will say it's very smooth. So let me just try and show you. Sorry for the noise, but it's it's very, very smooth and very pleasant to use. I really like that. We do have a clip, which is just bolted on, and I quite like that. It has a nice industrial look. And this is a stiff clip, but you can get these, um, at least for the full size, you can get these sleeves uh, and the clip. It's It's tight but it does work, as you can see there. Straight, and then tapers down at the bottom there. And then you have your pen. So again, pretty good size. Full size is certainly girthier and wider. Good size, one-handed operation, I quite like. You can unscrew this nose cone. Has a nice little ring there. Uh, sorry, O-ring there to make sure the metal doesn't accidentally unscrew. And then we have the refill with a little uh, spring. Again, I thought this was Parker style, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and, 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 and that's pretty much all there's, there's to it. So I'll reassemble this. I really like this red aluminum. It's a very, to me, it's a nice intense color that I, I really like uh, quite a bit. Why don't we see if we can do a little bit of writing with it. So here we have the Bastion Bolt Action Slim. This one is red and it's clearly a black refill. Came with it and by the way it comes protected. There's a little plastic nub on there so don't try to write with it. But I mean it does keep everything nice. Keeps it from drying out. Keeps it from I guess leaking anywhere. So pretty good. So 
a pleasant writer, pretty smooth. One of my issues with ballpoints, they require pressure to write, fountain pens don't. Ballpoints physically do, they, they, you need to push in that ball a little bit for the oil-based ink to flow out. Um, this one does not require an awful lot of pressure, so that to me makes it very pleasant to use. I, I remember getting cramp in my hands in high school from pushing down on cheap ballpoints so hard. This doesn't really have that, so I, I really like it. Um, I know it's not a fountain pen, but fast writing, it does do a very nice job. And no real weird blobs of ink or anything, so I like that too. And yes, it does have that nice ballpoint ink smell that some people really love. Um, speaking of that, again, I know it's not a fountain pen, but smearing, it's pretty good. I really have to push down very hard to actually smear this. So that can be helpful and beneficial for those who mind that. There is, of course, no line variation, but with more pressure, you do get a, fight, a slightly thicker line. Obviously, no upside down writing because it's a ballpoint, so any angle is the same. But there we have it. Now, people who don't watch the video but see the picture are going to wonder what this is. Okay, a very kind thank you to Bastian for sending me this. Let's discuss some likes and dislikes. What do I like and what do I not like about this Bastian bolt action pen? Well, as to likes, it's a ballpoint, but it's a very pleasant one. I love the finish. The aluminum, this finish, there's a bit of a tactile sensation to it. I like it a lot. I like the mechanism. It's smooth. Sorry for the noise, but it's smooth. It works very well. It's kind of neat. And it's a pleasant pen. I, I like writing with it. Um, the price, $99. It's not inexpensive, but if you want an inexpensive pen, buy a big crystal and then you have that. I mean, if you want a more durable pen, that I, the, the big one I have, I've dropped multiple times, including on pavement. I was shipping a pen to someone. I dropped the pen, that, the, 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 the bold action, not the pen I was about to ship off. <laughs> um, I dropped it on the pavement. Uh, that was a little bit of a sort of like a, a silver color chip and, and that was it. It's not even a big thing. They're reliable, robust pens. If you work on sites where things can get dropped, where it's a little rougher, you don't want a plastic pen, you want something like this. And it is very solid. So I know it's not cheap, but in my mind, you also get very high quality product for it. So I, I like it a lot. I personally prefer the wider version, but that's just because this is the size of my hands. It's a nice pen. Things I don't like so much. Well, yeah, the price is high. I've already said that. It's just simple. The price is high. But again, I think you buy a certain level of craftsmanship and there's a whole community out there that appreciates that sort of thing. I would rather spend that amount of money and get a really well-made ballpoint than use big crystals for the rest of my life, throw them out, create waste, all that sort of stuff. I know you have to throw out the refill, but that's not throwing out an entire plastic pen, right? I really like that. One thing I don't like so much is the placement of the cap and this bolt because this might be a stupid thing but I kind of naturally write with the clip pointing upwards but then the bolt is I can't move my hand that way but then it's kind of digging into my hand so I don't like that if I flip it the other way around then the clip is in my hand so you kind of align it with bolt to one side and clip to one side is that a big deal to most people probably not I just wanted to point it out I'm a little peculiar that way. I don't like things poking into my hand as I write. Now, I say again, I don't have the world's smallest hands. So if you were to have smaller, daintier, cuter hands, um, then this would not be an issue. But for me, it is. Nothing insurmountable, because obviously I can hold a pen with the clip face in one way and the bolt face in the other. Just something I wanted to point out. Hope this was useful. Very kind thank you to Bastian for sending me one of these. I really appreciate it. I'm glad to see you later. Bye.